What's good, everybody? Doc Dark 1985. There's levels to this. All right, check this out. So let's talk. 60 frames per second, right? Against 144 frames per second. Or better yet, 60 hertz monitor versus 144 hertz monitor. Is there a difference? So as you guys know, I got pretty lucky. I was able to get the Acer Helios uh, 300. That's what I have right now. It's got a GTX 1660 Ti in it, and it has a 144 hertz monitor for or panel for a thousand dollars. It was like a thousand eighty with tax, right? Um, it was on sale for Prime Day. Picked it up. I actually checked a few hours later, and it was like already gone. They had already sold out, but or the price had already gone back up. But regardless, so. Since I got, first got my first gaming laptop, which was the Dell, I think it's the 7567, I think is what it is, 7567, I believe that's what it is. Um, it's got a GTX 1050 Ti, and it's got a 60 hertz um, panel, okay? Now, I got that gaming laptop with the intent of getting something strong enough to go to school and that it would last me a while and that I could game on it if I needed to. I wasn't planning on gaming on high settings or anything like that. To be honest with you, I didn't even know what that was at the time. All I know is I showed the laptop to somebody and they told me, yes, that's a good laptop. I went ahead and got it. And I think for the price, um, I think I paid 800 for that. I think it was like 900 total. It's like 900 total for that. Okay. So for essentially, $200 more, I got an upgrade, right? Now, here's the deal. Once I got that gaming laptop, I started uh, digging deeper into PC gaming. And what is PC gaming? Why are all these PC gamers consider themselves a master race? Like, what's the big deal? What's the difference? And to be honest with you, as soon as I gamed on the gaming laptop compared to gaming to the PS4, um, the Xbox, 1x i mean 1s um i mean there was there was a difference right but the difference wasn't wasn't huge to me right and again it might have been because i had a 1050 ti and i only had a 60 hertz um monitor but i still enjoyed gaming on the laptop a lot now where i really saw, saw a difference was when i played old titles so for instance i have a uh, far cry 3 on pc and i have far cry 3 for the uh for the ps3 those games look extremely different like it is night and day what they look like so that you know opened up my mind i was like whoa that's crazy that the, you know that the difference is that huge that the difference is that big same thing with how smooth the game plays and everything like that so i've been on this um let me move the mic out a little bit i've been on this well let me see how much better pc really is than you know than console well man like i always say there's levels to this and i started looking at different graphics card i started learning about frames per second and i started learning about hertz and g-sync and v-sync and all this other all this other stuff i never even knew what anti-aliasing was i'm just ranting now right but i learned a lot of stuff right so pretty much you get what you pay for when it comes to pc gaming okay but here's the deal now that I have 144 hertz um, monitor or panel, whatever you want to call it, compared to the 60 hertz monitor, this is my experience. Now, I've only been playing for a few days, okay, and I haven't even been able to play as much as I would like. You know, i got a busy schedule, but I've been playing enough to the point where I actually had both laptops next to each other, and I had Apex Legends running on both, and I would play one game on 144 go to the 60 hertz panel, play on the 60 hertz one game, right? And this is my opinion. This is the truth. This is no lie, okay? 144 hertz is better. It definitely is. The smoothness is really good, okay? Like, it's like butter smooth, okay? It's really good, okay? It's really good. However, what it does to the 60 hertz monitor, does it destroy it? Again, this is my opinion. This is what it does. 
it makes it so that on the 60 hertz monitor, you have to play at 60 hertz. And this is what I mean by that. On that, on my on my uh, on my Dell laptop, I didn't have a problem cranking up the settings to high or even very high or even ultra on certain games as long as I was getting above 30 frames per second. That's just me being honest. I could play games at 45 frames frames per second, 30 frames per second, anything above 30, I'm fine. I could play it. Like it, it really doesn't bother me. Or better yet, it really didn't bother me. The 60 frames per second, 60 hertz to me seemed really, really, really smooth, right? So I got I got used to that. Okay. Now though, with this 144 hertz panel that I'm playing on, when I go and I play a game on that 60 hertz monitor, I can tell when it's not running at 60 hertz. And this is something that I did, okay? I did this just to just to enjoy it a lot better, okay? I took off that freaking FPS counter at the at the top left corner. I took it out. I had it on my 144 hertz, and I was playing um I was playing Apex Legends, and I found myself just looking up there, making sure I was in still in triple digits or whatever. And and obviously it's it's, it's a 1060 t it's a 1660 Ti, so it was doing pretty good in that game. Um, sometimes I was reaching way above 144 frames per second and if I dropped a few graphic settings then I was definitely well above that 144 but again I like at I don't know at what point it is but all I did was I took that off I reset the settings I let the game decide what setting it needs to be you know how you press you know a restore default I did that and then I just played the game without the, the FPS counter and let me tell you it's smooth so I don't know exactly how many frames I'm playing I, I know that I'm not pushing the monitor to that 144 I may be playing somewhere around anywhere between 90 to probably like 130 right now right but it is still incredibly smooth no screen tearing none of that stuff but when I go back to that 60 Hertz monitor I cannot play below 60 I I can't I can't well that's that's what I assume I'm, I'm not playing below 60 because I also took off the FPS counter in that but the difference is when I took off the FPS counter and I hit restore default I couldn't play it at the recommended uh, game default. I could, I just couldn't play it. it. To me, it wasn't, it wasn't playable. It was just way too choppy. So I had to drop some things like the ragdoll simulation. I dropped that to low. Uh, a few of the shadows I dropped to low. And then it was only like two or three settings that I had to change. And then I was able to play it. It's still not as smooth as the 144 hertz, but it's, it's a lot more playable. So the conclusion to this video is 144 hertz. Compared to a 60 hertz panel, is it uh is it worth it? Is it worth it? In my opinion, if you do not have a 144 hertz monitor and you have a 60 hertz monitor, just stick to your 60 hertz monitor. Just stick to the. I uh, if if you if you okay okay hear me out hear me out hear me out hear me out hear me out, hear me out. let me make this better. If you have a PC, okay, and you're trying to figure out what to upgrade, okay, whether it's the panel or the graphics card, okay, I would upgrade your graphics card unless, unless, unless you're sure that the, unless the graphics card that you have right now is actually pushing 144 hertz, then go ahead and upgrade the panel. But if not, I would just upgrade the graphics card and make sure that you get into 60 out of the panel that you have right now and stick to that. If you have a laptop, if you have a gaming laptop and you're trying to upgrade, okay, again, in my opinion, okay, if the amount of money that you're going to spend is something like what I spent. So I, I, I just spent, it's actually $180 is what I spent essentially to upgrade graphics card and to upgrade monitor and to upgrade the, the, the freaking, yeah, the, the, the panel. I would do it for that much. I wouldn't go with a, with a laptop that's like three hundred dollars or four hundred dollars or five hundred dollars above a sixty hertz monitor with a really good GPU with a really good graphics card. Okay, that's just me. Here's the problem now. Now that I have this one forty four hertz laptop, <laughs> I can't see myself 
getting something with less than 144 hertz because once you experience it then you get used to it and you're like okay that's really buttery smooth but 60 hertz is still perfectly fine as long as you're hitting those 60 hertz so i'm glad i got introduced to pc gaming now during this generation of console i have no idea how people were playing video games on pc at 144 hertz back when the ps3 and the xbox were around xbox 360 and then going and playing the xbox 360 at 30 frames per second some games at 25 frames per second. i have no idea how you guys that would have drove my mind crazy I, my, my head would have exploded so is there a difference between 144 and 60 yes there's a difference the biggest difference that you're going to experience in my opinion is that once you play at 144 144 you have to play everything at 60 or better you won't be able to go back to another panel and play below 60. You will be able to see it. Your eyes will see it. You'll pick it up like that extremely quickly. All right, guys. That's all I got. Doc, Doc Dog 1985. There's levels to this. We out. Peace.